Doctor inserts the microchip between your thumb and index finger using a device similar to a syringe. Now, these chips can actually be really helpful tools, and they utilize the same technology used in phone payments. With this tiny device, your body essentially becomes a contactless key. It can open doors using sensors and can even start a car. They last anywhere from 10 to 20 years and can be removed with a small incision in the skin and I never got asked to be in any of them. I never, never even heard back from anyone, um, which is kind of what I assumed would happen with Neuralink, honestly. Um, but I had applied for things because I obviously don't want to be paralyzed anymore. I don't want to be a quadriplegic. So um, it would be great if I could get into something and have them fix as much of me as possible. I mean, even if I had more control over my hands, the amount of things that I could do would like skyrocket, like an order of magnitude. Um, better and my life would be better my independence would be better everything yeah i don't i mean i don't think it would hurt to try and yeah. i are you familiar with a lot of these clinics like the cellular performance institute in mexico so what this implant allows you to do is you can interface with a computer mm -hmm. and you can use keyboard you can d type in urls you can play video mm -hmm. games yeah how does it work yeah so basically um Excuse me. Um, my implant has uh, like a Bluetooth connection to the computer. And then through that, Neuralink has created an app that they have uh, uploaded to the computer. And through that app, I can interface with the, um, with the computer. What it does is all of the electrodes on the threads um, are sending uh, neuron spikes, neuron signals. And through my, so it's all implanted in my motor cortex, through my intentions, so say if I want to try to, you know, move my hand left, right, up, down, I can't really move it. I have like a little bit of movement in my hand, but I can't really move it, but... An incision is made on the head to implant a Neuralink chip in the brain. Developed by Elon Musk, this chip can enable a blind person to see, a paralyzed person to operate a computer, and significantly enhance cognitive abilities. To implant the chip, Doctors make an incision on the scalp and move aside the skin. They then use a special drill to make a hole in the skull. Once through the skull, they expose the dura mater, which is carefully cut and removed to reveal the brain. The R1 robot performs a 3D scan of the brain, then implants the 64 wires of the Neuralink chip into the brain, completing the process. Neurotech startup Paradromics will start trials for its new brain implant next year, aiming to lead the brain-computer interface race. CEO Matt Engel says our brain's 85 billion neurons are much slower than computer chips, so they're creating high-speed, high-data rate devices. This follows Neuralink's recent chip implant, which faced issues. Based in Austin, Texas, Paradromics has raised over $100 million and expects their device to cost about $100,000. They aim to solve brain health problems, starting with patients who can't communicate due to conditions like ALS or spinal injuries. The device works wirelessly without needing charging. What users need is short calibration routine. But what do you guys think? How do you think brain-computer interfaces could change healthcare for Americans? Share your thoughts below. If you're a tech enthusiast, this might just be your next big thing. Or is it too sci-fi to be true? Human microchipping might sound like something out of a dystopian novel, but it's already a reality. Small chips, the size of a grain of rice, can be implanted under the skin. These devices can store your medical history, streamline payments, and even unlock doors. But how safe are they? Well, the technology uses passive RFID, which means they only activate when near a reader. They don't have a power source and can't transmit data over long distances, reducing the risk of hacking. Ethical questions also arise. Who has access to this data? Can these chips be misused? Despite the convenience, it's crucial to consider the implications of privacy and personal autonomy. As tech evolves, so does the potential for integration into our daily lives. Whether or not we'll all be chipped in the future remains a subject of hot debate among tech circles. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, 
because those are the men who are learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And I'm um, pretty much, you know, got um camp later, you know, waking up early, get myself together. But um pretty much if you don't know, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant. And the day is going to come pursuant to Revelation 3 and 10 concerning the hour of temptation where the mark of the beast will be made mandatory throughout all countries. Because ultimately, they're going to implement this microchip implant through this centralized system. So the day is going to come where the programmable digital money that you know as the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency, it will be programmed on these chips that they make mandatory. And you won't be able to buy or sell lease you have the chip. So that's the temptation part. The fact that you won't be able to buy or sell. So what you're realizing is, and what you're seeing, is the great global reset. You know, doing away with this old system that involves physical exchange with fiat currency which is paper money cash and they're going to do away with cash and commercial banks ultimately and the currency is going to come directly from each country central bank all right so this is what you need to realize so now i'm just going to jump into the scriptures and let the scriptures speak this is revelation 13 i'm gonna start at 15 it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now, that he is referring to is Esau Edom. And the reason why he has power to give life unto the image of the beast is because it's the same nation that was ruling during the Roman Empire, which is these people right here. All right. The Edomites, which is the so-called white man and his sea line. Every individual on the planet Earth comes from the seed of a man. You know, the seed being the sperm of a man. All right. So according to the Bible, you are what your father is. Whatever nationality your father is, based off of his father's line, right? That's going to determine your nationality and the identity you're going to take on. All right? But pursuant to um, Isaiah 25 and 7, there's a veil that's over all nations to where they don't know their biblical nationality. So this is where the prophets come in at. All right? To tell you where you um, fall in place pursuing to your nation so if you are not an israelite when your who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ returns back you will go into slavery all right that's what's in the scriptures so it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast which the image of the beast is the new world order in this lifetime but ultimately the Edomites system worldwide is based off of the ancient Roman Empire. That's why so many similarities between ancient Rome and modern day America and the European Union. Because it's the same nation that's ruling, all right? The Edomites. They was ruling in the Western Roman Empire. So it says that the image of the beast should both speak. And they're speaking right now. You know, look at mainstream media, listen to the celebrities. You know, um, alternative media, the different articles that's coming out, prophecy is speaking. You know, all countries is getting ready to implement the CBDC, which is a central bank digital currency. So prophecy is speaking. We're seeing a transition of this current system, how it's being changed to a digital cashless society. All right. Because this digital cashless society that the central bankers, which are Edomites, are going to implement worldwide, it has to revolve around the mark of the beast, all right? You would need the mark of the beast in order to function in this new society they are trying to build worldwide. Because the Edomites, which is the so-called white man in the sea line, they have a agenda, all right, of world domination through their centralized system that involves the mark of the beast. So it says, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So during Jacob's trouble, you're going to have persecution that's going to take place. All right. And during that time period, pursuant to Revelation 3 and 10, 
the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant that you see on the screen, first of all, don't take it. But ultimately, the elect of the nation of Israel will not bow down and take this chip because we're going to be faced with death. All right. Some brothers and sisters is going to get put to death. This is Revelation 20 and 4. It says, And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Because when you read Revelation, the second chapter, Yehobashah said what? The ones that remain faithful unto the end, the ones that's a part of the elect of the nation of Israel, they will overcome the image of the beast and this man's mark, all right? Which is the RFID chip implant. So he's going to give power unto us to rule over the nations. So it says... And I saw the souls of them, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, that were beheaded. So the time period is coming to where great persecution is going to arise. All right. And if you don't take this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, you will be beheaded. It says, for the witness of Yahweh Now, whenever you see the word Jesus in the scriptures, you have to go into the Hebrew origin, which is what? Yehabashai, all right? Joshua in the English, but Yehabashai is his actual name. Just because you translate a name, that's not the name that the Messiah is born with. He's not born with an English, Greek, Latin. He's not born with any other name, but what's mentioned in Hebrew. When the angel Gabriel came to Mary, she told him to name him Yehabashai, that he's gonna save his people because the angels speak Hebrew, the Messiah, you know, in the heavens, he speaks Hebrew and on earth, right? The God of Israel, he speaks Hebrew. So he had a Hebrew name. He didn't have a Greek, Latin, or English name, all right? So whenever you see the word Jesus, you got to go into the Hebrew origin. This is why here at Great Millstone, we use Yehoshua. We swamp it out because Jesus is not his name. It says, and for the word of the Most High. It says, and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image which is his new world order neither had received his mark which the mark is what the rfid chip implant and when the time period comes do not take the microchip implant and this message first and foremost is for you israelites you so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians do not bow down and take this chip because if you take this chip pursuant to revelation of 14 chapter the most high is going to destroy you all right He's going to destroy you by the way of thermonuclear missiles. So let's jump back. So it reads, Yep, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, which the foreheads is what? The brain chip implants, right? It says, or in their hands. So when the time period comes, you could get the chip in your left or your right hand, depending on which hand you write with. Now in Europe, things are different. In Europe, the steering wheel if I'm not mistaken, it's on the right side. But when you look at America, it's on the left side. Most people in America is right-handed. And um, in Europe, it would be put in the left hand, all right? Either way, if you receive this chip in any hand or anywhere in your body, you're gonna be destroyed, all right? And this message, first and foremost, is for you Israelites because salvation is only for the Israelites, but more importantly, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. So it says upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years because it's going to take a thousand years pursuant to Isaiah, the 60th chapter for the heathens to build up our kingdom. All right. So that's all it's talking about, because the Israelites, beginning with the elect, we're going to be immortal. We're not just going to live a thousand years and then die. Yahabashah promised us immortality. All right. So now we're done with that. So now we can go to verse 16. It says, and he calls of all. The he that calls of all is the central bankers. The central bankers are these people that you see on the screen right here. All right. The central bankers are J-E-W-S's. They control the banking system. They control the IMF. They create your currency. So since they create your currency, and it's not just for America, it's for all countries, because all countries have a central bank in them. And this is how they're going to implement the mark of the beast. It's through their centralized system. All right. So what's going to end up happening is when they make mandatory the mark of the beast, 
there won't be any other form or options to buy and sell with. You won't be able to use decentralized currencies, for example, Bitcoin, you know, Litecoin, stuff of that nature. Because the CBDC is a one world currency that they're going to put on a device and make it mandatory. That device is the mark of the beast. This is why all countries is getting ready to implement that programmable digital money in the form of the CBDC. Because it's a one world currency. All right. And the purpose of it being programmable and digital is so that it can be compatible with the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant also known as the NFC chip implant out in Europe, all right? So now let's jump back. So it says, and he calls them all. So this is a worldwide event. You know, we read Revelation 3.10. It said that the hour of temptation is going to come upon all the world to try those that dwell upon the earth. Now the elect of the nation of Israel won't bow down to the new world order. They won't receive his chip. So that's going to involve what? A great deal of faith. Now, when you read Isaiah 65 and 13, Yehobah Bashem al said that his servants is going to eat. So there's going to be a lot of miracles that's performed in those days, all right, in that time period, during Jacob's trouble, during the hour of temptation, because not every brother and sister is going to be thrown into the concentration camps. We don't know for sure who's going to get thrown in the FEMA camps or the concentration camps. You know the quarantine stations but if you are faced with that you have to remain faithful unto the end pursuant to revelation 2 and 10 all right continuing on it says and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond so this is a worldwide event that's going to take place why because all countries are under this centralized system that's controlled by the edomites the j-e-w-s's right or who we call the small hats it says to receive now when you go into the word receive it lets you know that the mark of the beast is a physical device which they plan to make mandatory through the banking system right so the word for receive in the greek is didome and it says to give to give something to someone so if you give something to someone it's physical it's a physical exchange when you look at the rfid chip implant procedure it's a physical procedure right of one's own accord to give one something to his advantage so what's the advantage that the elite banking families is going to have over the world population the people that consent and say yes i'll receive your chip so that i can buy and sell and conduct business they'll be able to track your every move they'll be able to read your thoughts you know you won't have any form of liberty right so the purpose of this is that what for tracking and control it they'll have complete control over you they could turn your chip on and off right they can tax you at will they'll have absolute power over you and through their centralized system through their cashless digital society their new world order it'll make them a god all right if you receive that chip you're making the edomites um you take that chip you make the edomites your god because the purpose of this new world order system is to make the Edomites a god of all the people that take the chip. So it says a mark. So we go into this word M-A-R-K. The word there for mark is karagma in the Greek. And it says an imprinted mark. Now, something that is imprinted, it goes underneath your skin. It's a subdermal implant. All right. When you go into the root word of karagma. The word there is karax, which all these different Greek definitions is to explain what John the Revelator seen in his vision on the island of Patmos. So in his vision, he saw the RFID chip implant procedure. He saw how it was done. And this is why you have to go into the Greek for the word M-A-R-K, Mark, and the root words of it. So you can know for sure that it's the RFID chip implant. All right. So when you go into this word karax, according to John's vision, the word karax is explaining the syringe that's used to inject the RFID chip implant, making it an imprinted bull mark. All right. It's an incision. So now when you go into the root word of karax, the word there is grapho. And the word grapho, it pretty much means to store information on a specific type of device or material. In other words, 
download your information on a device as data. Now, what's going to be on these chips? The currency, first and foremost. All right? And this is why you're not going to be able to buy or sell. Because, like I said, the CBDC is a one-world currency. They plan to stop all forms of currency so that you solely rely on their currency, their way of buying and selling. Since they control the money supply, they control the banks, they control the cash, the, the currency comes from them. It doesn't matter what country you're in. All countries have a central bank and the elite banking families, which are Edomites, right? The J-E-W-S's, they create and distribute your currency. So since they have that much power over all these countries, they plan to put the currency on the device and make it mandatory. All right. So now let's jump back. So the currency is going to be on the M-A-R-K as well as your medical records, the different ways to identify yourself, you know, to, um, to work, open up buildings, your car, access the internet. You will need this chip to absolutely do ev everything, all right? You won't be able to do anything unless you have this chip implanted into you. And that's the temptation part. That's why it's called the hour of temptation because this new system that they are creating, it's revolving around what? The mark of the beast. So right now, we're in the midst of them doing this great global reset, and it's going to get to a point where once they are almost established in creating this, they're going to make mandatory this chip. So it says in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, when you go into the word foreheads, the word there is metapon in the Greek, and it says the space between the eyes and the forehead, referring to what? The brain chip implants, which pretty much is going to function the same way as the RFID chip implant, all right? Because you have people that's born with disabilities, you have people that don't have arms, but they have a head, all right? So what they plan to do is, since they can't get it in their right hand or their left hand, they're gonna get it in the forehead, all right? So it says that no man might buy or sell. Why is that? Because the currency is gonna be on the mark. That's the main thing concerning the hour of temptation. All right. The currency, which is going to be digital, is going to be put on the mark that they plan to make mandatory. That's the temptation part. You won't be able to do anything because your life is centered around buying and selling. Your livelihood depends on finances. All right. The finances or the currency, earning wages, having a bank account. All of this comes from the central bankers, which are Edomites. So that's the temptation part. Now, people are going to be faced with a decision. Will you bow down to this man's new world order system that he's establishing? Or you as a faithful believer in Hamashiach Yahawashai, will you do the right thing and deny this chip, even if you have to be a martyr and die for your religious belief, which is serving Yahweh Bashem El Shai? So that's also the main experiment, all right? that the Most High is going to send on the planet Earth to challenge people's faith, all right? Referring to you Israelites. So continuing on. So it says that, that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Why? Because the currency is going to be on the mark that they plan to make mandatory. Whether it's linked to your digital wallet or the currency is put on the mark, it's the same thing. You're going to need the mark in order to buy or sell. And we are fastly approaching this time. Now, in 2025, they plan to distribute brain chip implants. Now, in 2017, Carl Schwab, when he was the head of the World Economic Forum, what did he say? He said, in the next 10 years, only you people will have brain chip implants, and I'll be able to read your mind. I'll be able to know your thoughts. So 10 years from 2017 is what? 2027. All right? So we got to see. You know, we don't know for sure when they plan to make mandatory this chip, but it's very soon. Lord willing, it's in the coming months. Lord willing, you know, it's within a few years, all right? Hopefully soon. So it says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now let's go here. This is um Revelation 19 and 20. It says, and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet the false prophet is the Roman Catholic Church. 
and not in the Roman Catholic Church, you have the different Christian denominations as well as Islam, which are the two biggest religions on the planet Earth. So they plan to use the Roman Catholic Church and these man-made religions to try and deceive people into receiving this mark. Because all these pastors, you know, popes, you know, all these false prophets, they're pretty much brought and paid for, all right? They're controlled. So they're going to use these people as puppets for their new world order agenda to deceive the masses into taking this chip when it's made mandatory, all right? This is why you have the false doctrine of them saying that the mark of the beast is um, spiritual, all right? There's nothing spiritual about it. It's a physical device they're going to make mandatory, and they plan to put the currency on it. So it says um, that wrote miracles, right? The miracles referring to what? His pseudoscience and his AI technology because they're pushing forth these brain chip implants as well as the RFID chip implant as a thing of convenience. It's beneficial. This is an easier way to buy and sell. This is more convenient for you, right? So right now, they're in the process of socially conditioning the people to take this chip. That's why when you go in the store, you know, they hold your bills up in the sky because everything right now pretty much is centered around fraud and money laundering. So they're going to use these things to what? For the solution of making mandatory this chip. Oh, this is going to combat money laundering and, and crimes and stuff of that nature. You know, cyber attacks and hardware attacks, right? Hacking, stuff of that nature. Because the CBDC, right, the central bank digital currency, is trackable. And the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant, that's also trackable. So if you have the currency that's going to flow through blockchain, by the way, and they put it on a device and make it mandatory, you won't be able to commit crimes that easy. They'll know everything about you. They could just turn your chip off. They can track you, throw you in, in um, prison, right? So this is what they're doing. So all roads lead to the mark of the beast becoming mandatory. You know, the digital ID, you know, tracking these um, migrants, tracking, tracking people, right? Putting the currency on this device. All the problems in the world today, they pretty much going to paint the solution that the solution is we have to make mandatory this mark of the beast. All right. So don't be deceived. It says before him with which he deceived them. All right. And that's the thing. When they make mandatory the mark of the beast, you're going to have a choice. And like I said, this video is only for the Israelites, all right? The Israelites that believe in Yahweh and Yahweh because salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Even if you don't take this chip, but you're a heathen, you're not going to receive salvation. You're still going to be burnt up in the lake of fire if you are here on the soils of America, all right? The only ones that's receiving salvation is the seed of the promise that come from the fathers of the promise, which is who? The Israelites the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, but more importantly, the elect. So it says, which he deceived them. So right now, we're going through the phase of gradualism, getting people to accept this NWO agenda in the different phases, right? False flag attacks, migrant crisis, crime going up, uh, money laundering. Like I said, they're painting the solution that you will need this mark of the beast that is convenient and beneficial, right? It says, deceived them that had received. So the fact that they received it, they made the choice and said, yes, I'll buy down to your system and receive your M-A-R-K so that I can buy and sell and conduct business, all right? So everybody's going to be faced with their choice pursuant to Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masses, so you're going to have to pick one. Will you bow down to the God of this world, which is Satan, and his physical counterpart, the so-called white man in the sea line, the Edomites? Or you as a believer in Hamashiach Yahawashai, will you do the right thing and deny this chip, even if you have to be an outcast of society, and or you have to be a martyr and be put to death in the name of Yahweh Yahawashai, knowing that you're going to be risen up, pursuant to the book of 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, all right? So it says, them that have received the mark or the M-A-R-K of the beast 
and them that worship his image. His image is the new world order, right? These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So the ones of you people that's on the soils of America and you take this M-A-R-K of the beast, you're going to end up being destroyed by nuclear missiles, all right? Because the fire burning with brimstone is referring to what? The nuclear missiles, as you can see right here, all right? So now, let's read this. This is Revelation 14 and 9, and it says what? Doom for the worshipers of the beast. It says, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man, this is worldwide, right? The hour of temptation shall come upon all the world. Worship the beast, right? The beast is referring to the so-called white man, ultimately, right? It says, but ultimately we know the beast is what? NATO and the EU. But all nations is going to implement this mark of the beast. It says, and his image, his NWO Cashless Digital Society, which involves you what? Receiving a mark and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixing to the cup of his indignation. So the word indignation, it means righteous anger. Now, why is the Most High, the God of Israel, Yahweh, righteous? for destroying people, more importantly the Israelites, that consent and take this chip. Because you was warned through the mouth of the prophets, the men of great millstone and the men of like mind, not to receive this chip. You was warned for decades not to receive this chip. So if you receive this chip after being warned, now you're gonna be held accountable for bowing down to this man image and receiving his M-A-R-K so that you can buy and sell, all right? It says, and he shall be tormented he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone and nuclear missiles in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb because ultimately what's going to end up happening at that seventh trump yahweh shah is going to return back with michael the archangel and the, and the army of angels and when the nuclear missiles is shot off the elect of the nation of israel simultaneously worldwide is going to be beamed up into the so-called ufos which are the chariots of israel which is the way how the elect of the nation of Israel is going to receive salvation. That's why Revelation 18 and 4 says what? Be not partaker of her plagues. What's the plague pursuant to Zechariah 14 and 12? The nuclear missiles, the fire and brimstone. That's going to be used to punish the ones that worship the beast in his image, the ones that receive his M-A-R-K. So it says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever referring to what the mushroom cloud right because the whole land mass of north america which is babylon the great is going to be hit with nuclear missiles and completely destroyed to where no nation ever again will be dwelling here right it says um and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the m-a-r-k of his name here is the patience of the saints, the saints of the Israelites. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh All right? So I just wanted to do that quick video. You know, when this is made mandatory, do not take this chip. All right? Have faith and pray to Yahweh Bashem El Shai to protect you in the times to come to give you a stable mind. Especially when you're faced with this option of where you consent and take this chip or will you not take this chip even if you have to die know that you're going to be risen up when your harvest returns back